What is up Bamboo Shoot, Rampano one here and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new deck that I've created off of my own back. No net decking whatsoever, just sort of started building a rabbit fish deck I'll call it. And it evolved into much more than that. So the main point of this deck is mainly XYZ summoning as well as quite a lot of synchron summoning as well. So let's get straight into the recipe. So first off, like I said, we are using some rabbits in this deck. So we have two rescue rabbits in this deck. So in that case, we have three seven colored fish and three space mambos. These were the strongest normal type fish type monsters in the game. So that's why I picked those. So those are the main monsters for this deck. The other main monsters for this deck are three Royal Swamp Eels. These are level 4 tuna monsters that can only make synchro monsters when the other synchro material monsters are fish type. And the other three main monsters of this deck are three XYZ Remoras, which affects Reed. You can special summon this card from your hand by detaching two XYZ materials from a monster you control. When you do, you can target two level 4 fish type monsters in your graveyard, special summon those targets in face up defense position. Their effects are negated, and they cannot change their battle positions or attack. Also, they cannot be used as XYZ materials, except for the XYZ summon of a water monster. As usual with these deck recipes, I'll be covering all the tactics at the end of the video, so definitely stay to the end for those. So, like I said, those are the main monsters of this deck, the main focus. Uh, then we have three Metabo Sharks, mainly here for support. When it's summoned, you can select and return two fish-type monsters in the graveyard to your deck. So, not a bad support card at all. And then we have two Mulling Glacier, the Elemental Lord. Again, for the support aspect of the deck, if we are able to get five water-type monsters in the grave, which is quite likely I've been able to summon this monster a few times, then we can just summon him. And last but definitely not least, we have one Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth. And his effect reads, Once per turn you can discard one card. Special summon as many level 4 or lower fish type monsters as possible from your deck. But they cannot attack and their effects are negated. During either player's turn when this face up card on the field is targeted by a card effect, you contribute one other fish type monster negate the activation and if you do destroy it. Again very good tactic for this card covered at the end of the video. As for our spell lineup we have one foolish burial, one heavy storm and one monster reborn. Then we have three Lemurez, the forgotten city. Nice card to help us summon some higher ranked XYZ monsters or cover the tactics again at the end of the video. And then we have one MST and two pots of duality. Then for the traps, we have a very basic but very defensive lineup. Two bottomless trap holes, three dark bribes, one Solomon judgment, two Solomon warnings, and three starlight roads. The reason we run a very defensive trap lineup is because this deck isn't always the most consistent. It's the most consistent of its type, but still. And the traps really do help this deck out to make it much more consistent than it would be without them. As for our extra deck, we have two Scrap Dragons, three Stardust Dragons, two Abyss Dwellers, one Constella Mesia 7, one Heratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Helipopolis, or however that's said, uh, two Big Eyes, one Shockmaster, one Utopia, one number tw 92 Heart Earth Dragon, and one Photon Strike Bouncer. Okay, now for some tactics. The first tactic and the most common tactic that I use and that you'll be using in this deck involves Abyss Dweller and XYZ Remero. First XYZ Summon Dweller, either with normal summon monsters or by using Rabbit. Then use XYZ Remora's effect to ditch its materials to special summon Remora from your hand. Then re-summon the two detached materials. From there, I normally like to go into a Scrap or Stardust Dragon if I was able to summon a Royal Swamp Eagle using XYZ Remora's effect. Or we could just go into another Abyss Dweller so we can get the 500 attack bonus for our water monsters. Um, so I'd, I'd use the two 
pretty much useless monsters that I brought back as we can get that 500 boost on Romero and then he can attack himself with only 1300 but again it's better than two, one of the two useless monsters on the field. But like I said I normally like to go into Scrap Dragon or Stardust Dragon. If I go into Scrap Dragon I normally get rid of the third monster so if I summoned Royal Swamp Eel and Space Mambo with XYZ Remora's effect then I'll XYZ summon, uh, Synchro summon the Scrap Dragon and then whatever the third monster left over, normally Romero, I'll sacrifice him to use Scrap Dragon's effect. Then the next tactic involves the field spell Lemuria. Simply use Rescue Rabbit's effect to summon the materials, then use Lemuria's effect to boost their levels by 2 each, allowing you to summon a rank 6, either being Constella or Photon Strike Bouncer, depending what the situation is at the time. Maybe it's a clear field with one monster, then you'd go into Constella to clear the field, or maybe you're facing, I don't know, maybe you're facing Chaos and you, you're you worried about a, whatever, some Light Swarm monsters, then you'd you'd normally go into Put on Strike Bouncer from there. And the other tactic of this deck involves the Super Ancient Deep Sea King Colaganth. So when you're able to get Deep Sea King on the field, Use his effect by discarding one card to summon four fish type monsters from your deck. From here you can you can do a few things. You could either XYZ summon two rank fours, you could synchro summon some monsters if you summon some Royal Swamp Eagle eels with his effect. But the one I like to do involves Lemuria. So we use his effect to summon four other monsters so we have five. Then we can use Lemuria's effect to boost all of our monsters levels by 5 each. That will bring all of our level 4 monsters up to level 9 and then we can XYZ summon a rank 9 monster. The rank 9 monster in this deck is number 92 Heart Earth Dragon. Heart Earth Dragon is a very powerful XYZ monster which deals a lot of damage to your opponent as well as getting rid of their field advantage totally. And that's pretty much it for the tactics. Uh, the Big Eyes and the Heratic Dragon in the extra deck is there in case you are able to get 3 to 4 fish type monsters on the field and you want to use Lemuria's effect to summon them. Very fun deck, not always consistent but the trap lineup definitely helps out the consistency of this deck and makes it an all round better deck than it would be. As usual guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck recipe as much as I enjoyed making it and playing with it myself. If you could, be sure to leave a like rating and subscribe for more vides. Again guys, this is Final one and I'm out, peace, thank you for watching.